Oh! <gasps> no! <laughs> 7 o'clock in the morning, and I was supposed to be here two hours ago. Oh, there's one! That was probably some of the best fishing I've ever had, like in the canal. And look, there's my second fish, and it's this fish. Buddy, rainy. Oh, is it back? Oh, weird. Rainy September day. Uh, we um, it's September twentieth. So we're just heading down to the river. Um, it hasn't been fishable for the last twenty-four hours, but we're gonna give it a go um, because water has came up four feet and. We're thinking that you know the salmon have been moving, the water have been, well, the water has been dropping the last 12 hours or so overnight, and it's fishable right now. So I'm thinking there should be a few fish around. The target species today um, are going to be Chinook salmon, uh, pink salmon. Well, we're near the, nearing the end of the pink salmon season now, but also co salmon, which is just they're just starting to show up now. Um, water clarity should be pretty good. Um, not too clear, not too dirty, so I'm pretty hopeful. We bought some bait, we bought some lures, we bought some trout beads, so let's see how it goes. Trout beat. I haven't seen any fish. Oh! Does that count? Is that a trout or a whitefish? It's a whitefish. You took that hook very, very good, little friend. Holy moly. What, it, what is that? Did I snag a pink? Oh, I did. Fishing too deep, apparently. Hello, oh, hey. how are you doing? Good. Good. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you guys just going in right now? No, just came out. Oh, just came out. Okay. Oh, you, you were walking down from there. Yeah. 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 Any fish? Yeah, you too. See ya.
mich an. It's a pink, I think. Is it pink? I think so, yeah. Did I snack it? Oh, there it goes. Oh, Is yours a pink? Look. Yeah, it looks just like yellow. Yeah. I don't think you snacked it. It fought pretty well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Oh, the, the beat keeps catching fish. Yeah? And the beat was all the way down by the hook, like squi squished up against the hook. That's fine. Yeah, but then some, someone did something to it, right? Yeah. Telling you, beat, beat all the way. If you start getting cold, then maybe. Yeah, yeah. I will. Don't you worry about it. I don't know what that was actually. Yeah, it fought better than the pink. Yeah, could, could be Unless a Unless it was snack, but then I wouldn't be able to feel the head yeah. shake like that, yeah. right? So I don't think it was snagged. Yeah. No, for sure, it wasn't, for sure it wasn't snagged. Yeah, because it jumped as well. Yeah. But it was very... Hmm. Could have just been a big, big pink. Big could be male. a spring jack. Fish on. Whoa. What did you get this time? This one feels snagged. I don't think so. No? I don't know what it is. Not snagged. I don't think it's snagged. What is that? Spring jack. Catching all the fish. Huh? <laughs> you can just slide it up, actually. You're gonna keep I'm trying. it. Yeah. working but I just keep losing them. Damn it. What does that mean? Are you gonna switch? No. <laughs> it's very weird. <laughs> oh my goodness. They fight hard though. Yeah, I know they they put spring yeah. jacks don't mess around. They 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 bite, they don't miss them. I know. Yeah. This is not easy. You're so lucky. I was yeah, are you so lucky? I was sure you were going to fall. Nice to meet you. The trouble is I always try to horse them in because they get so stressed. You need you need the patience of an old man. <laughs> I got lost the one yesterday because I was like, get in here. Huh? Nice job. Grandpa's happy. 
Oh. <laughs> Never fails. Never fails. <laughs> Good job. Fish on. I will come around this I'll come around this side actually. Huh? Come around this side. Yes, I'm trying, but there's a big stick in my way. Yeah. I know, come around there, yeah, come around the stick I mean. <laughs> Up to his friend. Woo! Finally! Oh. That took like what? Two hours? But worth it. Oh, it's hooked like right in the tip. Look at that. Look at that. It's hooked like right, right in the tip. Oh, I'm so lucky it didn't come off. So finally, after losing all the fish yesterday, further down the run, I get one a bit further up and we finally land it. That's awesome. Curse is broken. Okay, this is the fourth day in a row for me. Uh, getting out here. Um, I just realized I just realized last night that I actually haven't landed any fish in the last few days. Uh, Nina has caught a hooked quite a few Chinook jacks and landed two, right? I think so, yeah. And but I have only hooked two fish. Yeah, and uh, nothing yet. Our landing ratio is really bad. Yeah, so which is uh, very unusual. Reason, yeah. Very unusual for Chinook salmon because usually you do land them because they're big. The takes are so aggressive but we got a pretty overcast day today might drizzle a little bit so that's good uh river condition is great and uh, there should be fish through all the system right now because of that rainfall we had earlier this week so yeah we got a few hours to kill fingers crossed we'll get a nice one i'm stuck are you serious? Oh! Really bright spring. Just camp where my just out from where my float is. We never have much luck during the day. Not a single bite. Some days are just like that. They're jumping right in front of yeah, us. Yeah, we've seen fish. We've seen the yellow fish jumping here and there. But kind of disappointing. But we're gonna move. We're just trying to decide where we're gonna go. It's a bit of a, I guess, tough to pick because there's so many different spots to go uh, choose. And from we gotta right. pick up kids. And we gotta so be we home at time. 1 30. We have two, two hours left. So we can potentially can only go to one more spot to try out. And bird just pooped, that's <laughs> yeah, a terrible like sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's right, yeah, yeah. So if she's not catching fish, it must be slow, so. <laughs> okay, second spot of the day. First spot didn't produce anything for two hours. We've seen a few fish rolling. So feeling a little more optimistic than before.
that was disappointing. We went to the second spot and so a few fish rising right away, got all excited, but it turned out to be nothing. We got no bites. Oh, you had one bite. Well, one bite, but that's the only bite. But it is maybe just one of those days they don't they don't really. They're just traveling. Yeah, we saw those pinks going by, which is quite interesting. Just schools of pinks going by in the shallows, but yeah, no bites. <laughs> one of those days. Try again tomorrow. Okay. So I thought I wasn't going to come back out until tomorrow, but uh, my buddy Dave is fishing out there right now and he's been getting a few fish and keeps saying, come on out Rod, come on out. So I'm going out for the last couple of hours of the day. So tired, but got to catch fish. Hello. Hey. How you doing? Hey. You catching fish? Yeah? Catching quite a few. That's good. David. <laughs> you dragged me all the way out. There better be fish. That's a long walk. <laughs> Eight minutes. Yeah, it's, it's longer than I remember it. Yeah. Well, you dragged me all the way. Oh, there's one fish right there. Oh, nice. Dragged me all the way out, so we better catch fish, right? right. I expect um, four hatchery coals. <laughs> <All right. laughs> this is the G Loomis uh, E6X. See some of this crappy chum roll and see how it works. It's pretty deep. Oh, that was a fight. See, your line was on my line and yeah, I say that, yeah. Oh, that's a branch, not a bite, man. He was so little when I stepped the hook, the line fucking twined around. Oh, jeez. There it is. Yep. That was fast, like two seconds after the float landed in the water. It's a Chinook. What is that? What is it? Yeah, okay. Thanks. Nice looking Jack. It's like 10 minutes after I go here. Thanks, Dave. It's the first fish I landed all week. Oh jeez, what the heck? <laughs> this was, this is. Didn't miss it this time. That's an adult Chinook, I think. Hey Dave, can you film me that? Oh, it's a coal. Oh, just press the top and start filming. Just press once and start filming. Yeah. I think it's a coal. Okay, I don't but know where I'm no, it's, a, it. it's filming already. Don't know, look the other way. That's the lens. Oh, duh. <laughs> filming my own face. Yeah. What the heck? Film, film me, not film yourself. I think it's a, no, it's a jack spring, I think. 
fighting. Very nice though. <laughs> Don't fall down, Rodney. You're on camera now. You're gonna want to edit that first, like 30 seconds out. No, we got to keep that in there. No, that's part of it. It's like right close up. I kept putting it up in my eye like an idiot. I know. I was like, what are you doing? God. Yeah, it's a jack string. Oh, that's very clean. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, all right, get back over. <laughs> Morning, everybody. September 25th, 2021. I'm a little mad at myself right now because it's seven o'clock in the morning and I was supposed to be here two hours ago, but I slept in there. Um, fishing is pretty good, which means the river is quite busy and uh, I kind of want to get it. I kind of want to get here really early in the morning to get a spot, but I think it's gonna be pretty busy, but we'll see. Um, this river gets fish quite a bit, because it is pretty productive, but it's also near Vancouver, so it gets really popular. Um, but for the most part, everyone's pretty positive, so um, as long as everyone's having a good time, it's all good. <sighs> I've actually haven't done the first light fishing outing um, this season yet. Just can't get myself around to it. Oh. Anyways, we'll see how it goes today. Maybe we'll catch fish, maybe we'll even get a spot. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see who gets more. Hello. Oh, there's one. Yeah, third cast. Oh, came off. This one. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. <laughs> hey, good still? <laughs> good. Quite a chaotic morning. Oh, it's a jack spring. said that one no no oh no it's not super big oh. Oh. hook up number four I think it's spring jack it behaves like one there it is Okay, I'm gonna let this one go here. Spring Jack. Pretty nice fish. Oh, come on. Ah. Yeah. Oh, that hurt. Bleeding. That was crazy. Lots of bites. Missed two. Um, hooked four so far. Only about a half an hour. I'm the last guy on the river here. Look upstream, there's like 150 guys. 
<laughs> you don't have to fish in the crowd, but just outside the crowd. Oh, spring jack. Oh, came off. Must be like, oh, how many spring jacks are down there? Look at this. Yeah. That's number, number seven now. I think I'll keep this one. Sounds pretty nice, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, here's another one. Well, coho salmon. Let's give that trout beat a try. So. That was probably some of the best fishing I've ever had, like in the canal. One of the, one of the fastest fishing, like first one and a half hour, I probably hooked a dozen I, easily. Like there was like at least fifteen, yeah, like one after another one. Like it was third cast of the day, and then you know fifth cast, and then just one. There's so many springs down there. Okay, we're gonna clean this up, and we'll see you back at the truck. We're back at the car. It's been a really good morning. Um, very, very busy, but that's kind of expected for a Sunday on the Veda River. Um, but the fishing was excellent. Um, in the first one and a half hour, I probably had about 20 bites and um, hooked up about a dozen fish. Most of them were Chinook salmon, yacht coho salmon, um, which is pretty typical for this time of year. Okay, so we're just gonna do a little bit of a, bit of a talk on biology of these fish. And uh, before I head on, it's pouring now. Um, I want to get out of here pretty fast before I get too wet. Um, so I got my two fish right here. Beauty. Um, notice that they're two different sizes. Um, so this is a Chinook Jack and that is an adult Chinook Salmon. A Jack is a male salmon that come back a year or two years before um, earlier than they should be. And uh, they're reproductively uh, mature so they can spawn with other females. They're typically, they're, they're all males, so they can actually spawn with other females. Um, so yeah, so that's why they, they, they spend, um, you know, any, probably a year and a half in the ocean. Um, that's why they're a lot smaller. Um, we tend to, many, many years ago, we, we thought that these fish are kind of inferior, but it is actually an insurance policy for these populations. It's um, because they come back and spawn with fish that from, uh, from different years. Um, it's the only way for two different cycles of fish to interact genetically. Um, so that's uh, kind of, um, if you, so for example, if one particular year is lacking males, you have other male, you know, jack, chinooks, can, salmon come in and will spawn with the females and that ensures the population will survive, will keep going. Okay, that's better. <laughs> it's so wet outside. Um, we've had dry weather for the entire week and we've been out fishing. Um, fishing has been, I guess, somewhat challenging, even though there was a lot of fish because the river has been so low and um, it all can, comes down to timing. You know, early hours in the morning has been good. Late in the evening has been good. During the day, it's kind of on and off. So we've been hitting them on and off as well until this morning. Finally had a really good session, uh, really productive session. So yeah, and uh, this rain is gonna, uh, supposed to stay for a few days. Um, and it's gonna, water will probably come up again and that's gonna spread the fish out, which is great. Now, so the Chinook salmon fishery in the Veda River starts around late August, 
but peak time is generally around uh, mid-September and um, you can come out here like I say they've um, they've increased the they double the production at the hatchery so in the years to come we're gonna be seeing a lot more Chinook salmon and these fish are in great shape um, I've never seen Chinook salmon that silver um, until this year so it's uh, they're fantastic fighters they're great biters flow fishing for them with bait with trout beads um, work really really well and uh, and pay attention to little details. Um, shorten your float, shorten your leader, and uh, watch where you're drifting, and you, you'll, you'll get them. It's, it's really fun. If you want to come out here to fish, um, be sure to get a freshwater fishing license, and make sure you get a um, buy the uh, salmon conservation surcharge so you can keep the fish. Not only that allows you to keep the fish, but the money goes to great causes, um, goes to the Freshwater Fish Society of BC and the Habitat Conservation Trust Foundation, um, which are doing excellent, an uh, excellent job out here um, preserving our um, fisheries. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video. This has been the most requested topic, the Chinook Salmon Fishery. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you have any other questions, be sure to leave it on the comment. I'm always there to answer them for you. And uh, like the, this video, and I hope you guys can come out here and enjoy this great salmon fisheries in the next few weeks. Until next time, good luck fishing.